Hollywood is obsessed with remakes and turning all the old classics into politically correct lessons, and this time they are remaking Mel Gibson's movie, no, don't do it to Mel, his 2000 movie What Women Want into What Men Want. The New York Post reports, in What Men Want, in theaters February 8th, Taraji P. Henson plays a successful sports agent who feels cheated by the opposite sex professionally and has trouble relating to them personally. After a bachelorette party involving a wacky tarot card reader played by Erica Badu with a special T and a head injury on the dance floor, she awakens with the ability to read men's minds. It's the latest in a string of gender-swapping remakes and reimagining of beloved films. This is what they do. They remake and reimagine beloved films so that they can insert an agenda. And I mean, how typical of a politically correct remake. She feels cheated by the opposite sex professionally working as a sports agent. This is the left's narrative. The men are the bad guys in the workforce and they're just trying to find ways to cheat women. And uh, it's kind of interesting, the whole having trouble relating to men thing. You think? This is exactly it. It's acceptable to not understand or relate to men. You're the good guy in that character. And filled with wacky tarot card readings and dancing on the dance floor. I mean, come on, how feminist is this? I have said this before, Hollywood and the left have not only run out of ideas, but they are remaking classics so that the old ones can be forgotten and they can insert a new narrative filled with politically correct agendas to the new generation. Let's just tell the new generation how to blame men and make them the bad guy. While the Gibson movie and the new film share a central conceit, they're quite different. Good thing, says the director, because the 2000 film and its main character would likely come across as offensive by 2019 standards. I do not think that movie would be made today. With his level of chauvinism and misogyny, Shankman says, while Gibson's womanizing protagonist is the villain of the film, in the new movie, Shankman says, the culture is the villain and Taraji's character is just working really hard to navigate it. That's right, the culture is the bad guy. We, it's all filled with misogyny and rape culture and this and that. We just got to learn how to navigate in this horrible, horrible culture. Women are the ones who go to the movies, and I think Hollywood is finally getting hip to that. Well, you know what they say, get woke, go broke. I mean, women may be the ones going to the movies and the ones finding romantic comedies interesting, but just like children's movies, they make it entertaining for adults so that the movie can be enjoyed by the parents as well as the children. These rom-coms are meant to be enjoyed by both sexes. They go to the movies together. And I see this as only catering to females and it will only result in males not wanting to go watch this with their partners. And why would they? If you want to see more from me and the rest of the Rebel team, like and subscribe.